funny man. <gasps> Scaredy butt? Hey, break a leg. <clears throat> um. Uh, <coughs> ever notice uh, how how terrifying it is to, uh, to receive a, a gift? Hmm? <coughs> you know, if a present is supposed to be a nice thing, well then, why is it hidden in paper? <laughs> you know what I am saying. <laughs> <coughs> Oh! Oh dear me! Where did this menacing hook come from? Who is behind this threatening apparatus? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, I, I now want you to hook me, sir. I now want you to hook me. <laughs> but please hook me. Take me off the stage. <laughs> I must talk to my agent. Catastrophe! Catastrophe! Can you use it in a sentence, please? Catastrophe. I hope it will not be a catastrophe when tomorrow, a very special day, and a day that should be celebrated rolls around. Hmm. Catastrophe. <clears throat> K. Oh, right. It's the seventh anniversary of the day you were rescued from an ice floe. Misery. How could I forget? It was not a huge deal. No, wait. Now, I'll start again. C A T. Of course, it's a big deal, Misery. It's your anniversary. Uh, I guess it does make me a little happy. But I don't want a party or anything. And I hate surprises. The last time I was surprised, that pack of wolves was ruthless. Oh, I wouldn't worry about any party or anything. <gasps> Doom, where'd you get that? <laughs> I've never seen Misery look so happy. <laughs> She'll be so thrilled you've invited her cousins to come to the party. You've outdone yourself, Ruby. Well, anything for a pal. Ow. Oh, what was the word again? Catastrophe! Oh. Almost finished, guys. Hurry! We haven't eaten in 20 minutes. Hey, guys. Ruby, this was in the mailbox. I think it's from Misery's cousins. What is it? Looks like some kind of legal document clearing the cousins of any blame in the event of damage or disaster. Well, I guess it's good to be careful. What document? Who's being extra careful? Your cousins! Ruby invited them to your anniversary celebration as a surprise! <gasps> I don't know. My cousins are coming? Um, Ruby, you invited my cousins? My cousins together as a duo. Has two people joined together in sibling unity? Well, it was gonna be a surprise, but yes, isn't it great? But Ruby, my cousins are cold. Hey, they'll warm up to us in no time. Surprise! B minor. <laughs> Neat. That must be our guests. Just a minute. Ruby, I have to warn you. My cousins together are... Restrained but delightful, I'm sure. Welcome, family. Can we come in? Be my... guest. Misery, look who it is. Hello, Malady. Hello, Malaise. You look great. Thanks, Misery. You get taller. You must be Ruby. Misery has told us so much about you. Do you really talk to yourself in the bathtub? 
Uh, well, I... Gosh, would you look at your hand? It's all bandaged up, Malady. What happened to it? Well, it all started last week when I realized I was allergic to polyester. And then you make a poultice with potatoes, which is supposed to take the sting away, but instead it gave me hives due to my severe reaction. The boils on my elbow, which left a large scab. But the doctor said to stay off my feet because they had swelled due to the oil of wintergreen. But sadly, my skin reacted. Gosh, that's really a... And then the canker sores. But that was due to lemons, too acidic. It's a scrape. I'll be fine. Wow, would you look at the time? It's... Uh, gone. Hey, guys, check out the self-portrait I made from clay. Does it look like me? Wow, it's uncanny. Oh, you must be Misery's cousins. She's Malady, and I'm Malaise. What happened to your arm? Well, it all started last week when I realized I was allergic to polyester. The and then you make a poultice with potatoes, which, which is the largest to take the sting away. The but instead, it gave that was due to lemons, too acidic. It's a scrape. I'll be fine. <laughs> well, we better get settled in for the night. Time to unwind. I'll bring you some snacks. And I'll go sculpt something. Somewhere where it's warm. Ugh, is it ever Whoa. cool? Wait, Ruby, Skull Boy! I have to tell you about my cousins! Oh, well. I guess I'll get a nice pick ready. Here we are. The three amigos together again. So, Misery, tomorrow we celebrate you being safe from that ice flow. Yes. It was quite the day. Hello. I'm thirsty. Let's get some buttermilk. Hello. Wait, isn't that Misery on an ice floe waving at us? Yeah, I think it is. Come on, we better get to that buttermilk before it's all gone. Yes, I'd just like to thank you for sending those pirates out to help me. Pirates? Oh. Here you go, guys. Ugh. Is anyone else cold? Ruby, I have to tell you about this cold. Oh, a cold is nothing. I haven't told Ruby about my toe fungus yet. Um, why don't you save it for tomorrow? Good idea. It's a long story. Is it ever cold for July? I better throw another log on the fire. But, uh, Ruby? I suppose this means the party's over before it even began. What a ca- Please don't say it. Conundrum. Are you kidding? Misery's party will be the coolest party ever. Whoa. Ta-da! <laughs> Who knew skating could be so much fun? Ah, oh, mais oui! And seeing how I'm a descendant of the great French-Canadian ice sculptor Jean-Luc Luc Jean, I carved the masterpiece I call Hunk of Ice. Not yet finished. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Yeah! <laughs> Surprise! Happy, Happy seventh, seventh anniversary of the day you got rescued from the ice, ice flow. flow! Misery? Oh, just what I wanted. A party. Thanks. But I know this icy wonderland couldn't have happened without my cousins. Icy cousins, of course! They brought all this winter cheer with them. Malays and Malady, you two are amazing! That's right. We bring the party with us wherever we go. 
I gotta lie down now. <gasps> Do you hear that? It sounds like Poe. He must be trapped somewhere. We have to find him before he freezes. Family visits are always fun. Family visits are always fun. Family visits... Help me, Miss Lee! I'm in here! Help! Oh, I think I just found Poe. Oh, no! What a... Catastrophe! <laughs> Almost done. Are you all right? <laughs> Just a slight numbing in my claws, but nothing I can't handle. My cousins are cold. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I thought you meant cold figuratively and not literally. That side of my family was responsible for the Ice Age. Malady and Malaise are a walking cold front. How can we get things back to normal? The secret to breaking the cold front is to separate them. Once they're on their own, the ice will thaw. So that means we'll have to buddy up and do fun stuff to keep them occupied. Iris, you go with Malaise. Okay. Poe, you're paired up with Mallory. Right. You guys are the best. <laughs> Goodbye now. <sighs> Bye, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do. <laughs> ah, paradise. A lofty view of Gloomsville in the bracing air is just what the doctor ordered. Ouch! An acorn hit me in the head. Now I'll get scurvy. <laughs> oh, my dear. One gets scurvy due to lack of vitamin C. Perhaps your ailments are psychosomatic, that is, all in your head. Ah! I stand corrected. Well, hopefully your sister is having a better time. Isn't the other side of the earth great? Malaise, I'd like you to meet one of my best friends, Squig. Want to go for a ride? It's fun. Watch. Yeah! <laughs> Wanna try? to be warm again. I'm glad separating Malady and Malaise worked. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be my own ice sculpture soon. Hey, Ruby, Skullboy. I didn't know we had a pool. <gasps> we do now. The ice melted all at once? Hello. Hey, isn't that misery on an ice floe? Yeah, I think it is. Don't worry, Misery! We'll save you! Save her? What happened? She's out there, on an ice floe. Unbelievable. On the seventh anniversary of the day Misery was rescued from an ice floe, she's stuck on an ice floe. I believe that is what is called onomatopoeia. No, Len, it's not. It's irony. Well, that sure would be easier to spell. Think, think. We have to come up with an idea to rescue Misery. Ruby, think no further. Woohoo! Uh oh. 
Now's not the time to be picky. We'll surf out to misery on our guitar. What are we going to do now? Don't worry. I have an idea. Brilliant, Skullboy. Your sculpting talents have really come in handy. Yeah, but to be honest, it doesn't look anything like you. I only have a few minutes before this ice canoe melts. Salut, mes amis! Hurry, Skullboy, hurry! Two more minutes until this canoe turns to water. Is your ship sinking? Is it our sneaky or drinky? Misery! I'm here to rescue you! That's what they all say. Well, hurry! We only have a minute before this canoe turns into a giant slushy. Get on! Now paddle like the northern wind! I just know they'll be all right. <coughs> ah! Melody? Malaise? What are you doing back so soon? Ruby, do you have a first aid kit? Of course. But you actually look fine. It's not for me, it's for Poe. Oh! All of a sudden, he got this tremendous headache when we were out. Yeah, an iris ran out of steam with me. <gasps> ah! Misery! Ah! Oh! oh, Misery, are you all right? We were so worried about you. I'm okay. Ah! Just as long as Malaise and Malady are having a good time. Actually, we had fun. My arm's feeling not worse. Let's really get the party started, Misery. Things are no fun without you. Gee, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Besides my doctor telling me I don't have rickets. What about, you know, the cold front and you two being together? You guys go ahead. I could use some fresh air. Yeah, then I'll take the next shift. Really? You do that for me? What's family for? I'll be fine if my allergies don't act up. T-R-O-P-H-E. Catastrophe. Yes! That's great, Poe, but the word this time was avocado. Oh. No dear. Ah, back to peace and quiet. Misery, I'm really sorry about surprising you when you don't like surprises. I should have listened to you. Actually, you were right, Ruby. I um, do like surprises. Two to be exact. <laughs> so then my doctor said the cord will have to come off the foot. Can you believe that? No, I cannot! The specialist had never seen a corn that large on a toe. There was talk of amputation, but they didn't have a saw big enough. Luckily, oh, I will never say, hello, how it are you, again elbow. in my life. Strange, since I don't play tennis, isn't it? There was talk of amputation, but how do you amputate an elbow? Career Day with Frank and Len. Welcome to Career Day with Frank and Len. A job should inspire dedication, satisfaction, but above all, rock and guitar riff. Let's look at our first career option. Slide, please. This is a candlestick maker. And a candlestick maker is... Someone who makes candlesticks. <laughs> Killer. Now, seeing as candles make wax, which changes shape, a candle maker would sound like this. <laughs> Okay, next career option, please. Oh, the fishmonger. What does he do, Len? 
He's a guy who sells fish, Frank. <laughs> Not exactly. A fishmonger is a guy who mongs fish, so the guitar riff would sound sort of fishy, like this. <laughs> Next career option, please. Oh, 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 I know this one. A guitar player. Yeah, good one. Okay, a guitar player plays guitar and would sound like this on the guitar. Whoa. Way too much pressure. Well, that's it for Career Day with Frank and Len. And may all your career aspirations be riffing.